Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another makeup tutorial and I'm super excited about this one and it is featuring the Kat Von D Esperanza palette. Um, I know this isn't available now, um, but I would suggest, this is what happened, like, girl story time. Well, little story, but anyways. So this is what happened. Um, I was in Sephora, um, I don't remember why, I was just there. Anyways, um, you know how you just like wind up in places? Yeah, that was me. Okay, so anyways, I was in Sephora and, um, oh yeah, I remember because I was looking for three Kat Von D lipsticks I've been wanting and everybody and their mom wants it so I don't have it because everybody sucks and was taking it. Moving on. Um, then uh, I was like, oh, do you guys have, like, you know, the lipsticks? And she opened up, like, the drawer where they hold, like, all the Kat Von D stuff. And she didn't have it. I was like, wait, you guys have this palette? And I was like... And then she's like, yeah, um, someone could have returned it or, you know, we just, you know, stop like, having it out, you know? And I was like, I want that palette. And she's like, oh, cool, yeah, it might be even on sale, too. Because I don't remember I don't remember how much these retail for but I got this for 20 bucks and this has been out for a while so you can always just like ask if they have any extras in the back or you know if anybody returned it because they they keep it until they have to send it back I don't remember how it works but anyways the point is they still had this palette at Sephora so I was like mine like and I was like even like looking the night before I'm like oh my gosh what would I do to have that palette and like I got it for 20 bucks and it is absolutely gorgeous uh my f the reason why I got this palette is because of this color Selena which is named after the beautiful Selena Gethania um so yeah that's the main reason why I got that and um yeah anyways i know it doesn't have that look in this but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye okay so prime my lids as normal with lorox behind the scene eye primer and i'm getting a mac 224 brush it's a blending crease brush with naked from the original naked palette um this palette um the esperanza palette doesn't really have a nice um, brown shade that I'm looking for so I'm just using like a really nice flesh tone brown a little bit darker than my skin tone maybe like three shades darker and putting that all over my crease so it makes it a lot easier to blend out my shadows now here's for the start of the show which is absolutely gorgeous and I'm getting the color Archangel on a flat um, pers like a flat uh, shader brush and it's, this brush is going to help um, pack on that color so we get less fall. I also put NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on the two-thirds of my eye so the um, blue can really stand out through the white. And you're, you're, what you're going to want to do is just pack on this color because these, um, these shadows are a little bit powdery but it's not like you can't stand the powder. Um, that's what I just noticed. But they are so gorgeous and beautiful and pigmented and you need them in your life. So, just pack that on and sing a little bit as you can see me doing it right now. And now, I don't know what this color is called, but um, that color pretty much. It is a kind of like a navy blue with little minty flecks of glitter in it. And I'm going to flip my brush to the other side on the clean side I'm going to pack on the rest half of the lid don't worry too much crazy about blending um, we'll worry about that later all I want to do is really just lay down the shadow on my lid what song am I listening to anyways so yeah just do that to the other eye just pack it on try not to rub it because you'll get the sparkles flex all over your cheeks and you don't really don't want that like I kind of did right now I think if I show it yeah and now I'm getting a um, E25 brush from Sigma and I'm blending those shades together into the crease um, into that naked shade we used earlier and so there's no like you know fierce line going on just keep blending until it you are satisfied with it pretty much and now I'm going to get the color, um, what is that color called? Day Glow, I think. Yeah, it is a transformer shade, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm tapping that in the middle, so it brings a little bit more attention to the eye area, even though um, Archangel is doing a lot of attention. But this will just um, create the shadows to blend a lot more together, 
And when you put um, Day Glow on top of any of these shadows, it is a transformer shade, so it just makes it a lot more prettier. Now I'm getting Morphe brush and blending everything together one more time. And keep blending. Now I'm getting the Bare Minerals 5 in 1. I don't even know all 5 of the benefits of these, but anyways, I just know one of them is a primer. So I'm putting that under my eyes. I've been loving this lately just because it's small and petite. Um, and it's really easy to blend out and nice and creamy and it's a nice nude shade and pretty much what I'm doing to the bottom is exactly what I did to the top with a little bit more of a um, detailed brush this brush kind of just like appeared in my kit and I was like oh this is amazing where have you been all my life anyways so um, just pack the Archangel and whatever the other color was I don't remember um, onto the lower lid just so it matches and um, on the outer corners blend that all together and now I'm going to get the color um, the shade zero it's a, a Urban Decay pencil eyeliner and I'm just kind of making my lash line a little bit darker I've been over the wing for a little bit so um, and I don't want it to be like completely bright. So I've just been kind of like darking up my lash line. And now I'm going to get um, a matte black and just set that so my eyeliner doesn't move. Just because my eyes are hooded and it will end up on the crease if I do not set the eyeliner. And I'm using a MAC 266 brush. I put some mascara on and now I'm putting on some falsies. Um, these are NYX ones. I don't remember by notes from like the Halloween collection. And I've been using them even on a, like a regular day basis because they are absolutely gorgeous. They don't have my favorite ones anymore, which is sad, but I'm using my second favorites. And they just have drama screaming on them. So I love them. And now I'm lining uh, my lips with a Makeup Forever lip liner. Um, I redeemed my points at Sephora and it was like 100 points. So um, it's just kind of like a nude um, lip liner. You really don't need to use this specific kind. Um, and then I'm topping it off with a Calvin Klein um, One Lip Gloss. I forgot what shade this is in, but I um, didn't mention this in my haul video. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. and Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and leave any comments below if you want more tutorials with this palette. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!